about which we can well ask does it go does it come to huh wait a minute it's logic comics a 2009 graphic novel by two Greek authors, in fact, uh, Apostolos, Apostolos Doxiades and Christos H. Papa Dimitriou. Right, fine. It's a graphic novel on maths. Why would someone write a graphic novel on maths? That was my first question when I picked up this book. Actually, when I I didn't pick it up myself. My brother actually read about it in the New York Times because he's, I don't know, I guess he's intelligent because he reads the New York Times. But anyway, so he suggested me this book. And since I was doing maths at the time, um, I was in second year, I think, and I I just went with it. I was like, yeah, sure, graphic novels. I'm, I love graphic novels. And I never thought, a mathematician could be shown as a superhero which they don't they don't do that don't get me wrong uh, but he is nothing but a superhero this guy um, it follows a uh, rush uh, Burton Russell's life in in a beautiful sense I, I, I'll tell you how the narrative of this book is sort of split up into three parts it's kind of like a Russian doll-like system um, with one narrative sort of being encompassed by another and then by another. So we are introduced into the world of Burton Russell by two modern authors and they're sort of discussing how to write this book. And basically that's, that's how we begin. That's the author right there. He's a character himself. Uh, which is, I think, a really good self-referential sort of a trick pulled off by the writers. And um, they just introduce us to Burton Russell, this guy, this guy, this guy who's pointing, like, like that, this guy. Yeah, so his whole life has sort of been, uh, I guess you could say, he spent his whole life trying to figure out the foundations of maths. He finds that... Uh, all of maths is basically, you know, it sort of rests on a few axioms which you can't really prove. And that really gets to him because he wants to have a proper foundation to this enormous structure of maths that you have. Because it's sort of resting on really weak, not weak assumptions, but really uh, you, you will, we haven't been able to sort of prove them concretely yet so he basically his whole life you could say was a failure in a way because he tried to prove something that couldn't be proven and which is basically the end to this novel the ending the epic search for truth the epic search for truth yeah there um is kind of the truth but it's not a very profound truth it's something it's not like a very hollywood version of uh, a, an ending where you suddenly go wow eureka that that made sense i i don't know how i never really thought about that but it sort of ends with uh kurt Godel, uh giving a lecture on his incompleteness theorem uh, for which I think he was killed at the end of this book. Um, I'm sorry I'm filling this book with so many spoilers, but uh, with, I would I would really suggest anyone who has a passing interest in maths or uh, who is studying maths at the undergraduate level or who just really likes, you know, uh, biographies. And this is a really nice biography. It's filled with, uh, I mean, it's barely 300 pages and most of it's just drawings so um i would say do bu buy this on it's available on flipkart that's the doorbell by the way i'm sitting in my room anyway uh, uh buy it on flipkart i think it's there and uh, yeah it is there they've got like 15 copies there still i mean if you ask for it, they'll get it for you, uh, like import or whatever. It's really nice. Three hundred pages of philosophy, mathematics, logic, history, 
English literature so many things I mean you when you're done reading this which would be in about two days because not even two days actually I took about three days uh, because I'm a slow reader and I get sort of lost in the drawing sometimes in the art which is beautiful art by the way by Annie D. Donna and Alicos Papadatos I think yeah that's how you pronounce it anyway uh, I, I think you'll really enjoy it if you have uh, an interest in maths and for anyone who has an interest in maths you can really uh, you'll really enjoy this book and um, I guess uh, what else could I say about this let me see let me see let me see oh yeah it's actually based in a time when uh, World War II was actually gonna happen and it sort of begins with the question should America uh, you know join the Allied forces not the Allied forces then join England in sort of fighting Nazi Germany and because I mean Burton Russell sort of is giving a lecture at an American university that's why otherwise he's British so uh, yeah so uh, Burton Russell sort of answers that question in a way that you know they understand why it's more important to you know think logically before thinking emotionally i guess so lots of learnings can take place with you know just by this book and uh I'm, i i assure you when you come out of it not come out of it i mean when you flip the last page uh you'll be an inte a smarter person for sure and you'll have things to talk about just you you you'd want to um uh, you know give this to someone else some friend of yours to just discuss it once with them uh i think i've given it away at least five six times to five six different people and they've all really loved it um i was planning to gift it to one of my uh teachers at college uh who was just like bertrand russell in fact he was uh really you know like a stoic uh you know opinionated person well rooted with ideas well rooted with principles and you know rules like everything he does he there's a proper you know logical track to it and basically i mean what mathematicians are like generally and i i think i think this would have been the perfect gift for him but i just wanted to find a new copy and i've been really lazy and i don't know i should probably get around to doing that his birthday actually passed last week so i don't know maybe maybe on teacher's day which will be next september oh god anyway i'll, I'll find an occasion to gift him this book uh till then do you know wiki this book please and uh, let me know in the comments uh, your experience of having read the book and just yeah let's talk about it let's talk about maths let's talk about about russell this guy this guy came up with the russell's paradox by the way he's a really important person huge huge um also fun fact he was in a movie with uh what's his name rajendra kumar is that is that that actor's name uh yeah i think it's rajendra kumar i should ask my mother uh, she's outside but um i don't know everyone used to tease her when she was in school that she used to be a fan of rajendra kumar i think that's his name anyway he actually starred in one movie which was you know in which his character rajendra kumar's character was hugely influenced by Bertrand Russell and they actually got to meet him and shoot a scene with him so yeah I mean this guy's a huge deal you should really check this out okay cheers bye